remember not too long ago the hope in the community after Fallout 4 came out and we came to the startling realization that this was the game and it was a horrible shell of a game and it was the worst Fallout many of us had ever played. But if it was your first Fallout game, it wasn't bad. But then again, it's kind of like your first love. She isn't bad until you actually have sex with a woman who's more attractive and cares about you as a person and then you realize the thing I fucked with in the past was nothing more than my waifu pillow. How wrong I was. That joke was horribly offensive. I hope you rot in hell, you cisgendered bastard. Bethesda says that it's unlikely another Fallout New Vegas deal will ever happen again. And when they say Bethesda says, Todd Howard said that. Or excuse me, God Howard. He is truly fantastic. So anyway, the Guardian hit up Todd Howard and they asked him what was the likelihood of another deal happening in the realm of Fallout New Vegas. Considering most people feel Fallout New Vegas was the best f Ooh. Fallout New Vegas was the best Fallout of current generations, honestly. Of the 3D spectrum, Fallout New Vegas is the best. Some people argue Fallout 3, but a majority of us are on the side of New Vegas. Todd Howard said, I wouldn't say never, but now that our company is so big, it's always better to keep stuff internal. It becomes less likely, but I could never say never. He also praises Fallout New Vegas. Todd Howard says, I thought the guys at Obsidian did a fantastic job. That's like the blanket statement Todd Howard says about everything. Remember how he told us about how fantastic the Bethesda team made the Fallout 4 creation house system, you know, the snap building bullshit. And one of the great things about having a fully dynamic game engine is all of this just works. Then we got our hands on it. We found out it just didn't work. Point being, this stems from Bethesda obviously getting bigger. And when they say it's better to keep things internal, he means we make more money that way. This is the same sort of thought process. Let me put this in a way that you can understand because a lot of people still love Bethesda no matter what the fuck they do. This is the same thought process EA has, okay? When EA puts out their RPGs like Mass Effect Andromeda and whatnot, everything is in the Frostbite fucking engine. Even though the Frostbite engine was designed for first person shooters and maps only so large, EA doesn't give a shit. Cram it in the Frostbite engine, you figure it out, fuckface. All right, Pierre Guzman needs another Ferrari. And then we have the muddled messes we have today when it comes to RPGs from EA. Bethesda is exactly the same. They now see that they can literally live off of mediocrity in name alone. Fallout 4 is proof of it. I know, you might go, you keep harping on Fallout 4 Gundam. It's because it's bad, all right? Todd Howard pissed in my face, winked and said, it just works. And everyone else is like, oh my God, Todd Howard's urine. It tastes like lemon iced tea. But for me, I'm like, it's still piss in my face. Fallout 4 was so mediocre. We all know that Fallout 4 was the baseline for Fallout Online. We all know that Fallout 4 pretty much was the gateway to Fallout 76. There's no excuse, really. Bethesda wasn't punished for this. The game still sold well. People still cheer for some godforsaken reason. Then they run to GameSpot to buy some cheaply made Pip-Boy made out of ABS plastic by some Asian child in China. It'd probably cost Bethesda a whole 15 cents to make in a bowl of rice, and your stupid ass is in fucking GameStop buying it for $300. Oh, it's a Pip-Boy, wee! You, ooh! Point being, all the people who were hoping Obsidian would do a new Fallout, all of us who are sitting there praying to God that that one time Chris Avalon changed his Facebook profile to a picture of the vault boy holding some stick figure guy and we all got our panties wet. Oh my God, Chris Avalon. Oh my God. He might work on a Fallout game. Oh my God. It might actually be good. It's over. It's not happening. Suck a dick. Your dreams are done. There will be no more good Fallout games. Let's face it. Don't you yell at me, pig. Next up on the Todd Howard is Crushing Dreams Tour. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Todd Howard was also questioned about a possibility of a remastered Morrowind. Elder Scrolls 3, basically. 
And Todd Howard had this to say, for Skyrim Remastered, we had done some work on it, but it was already pretty visually close. But for something like Morrowind, my personal preference is not to remaster it. Howard also explained that he preferred fans playing the backwards compatibility version of Bethesda's older games. As the age of the title, it's just part of its identity. Now, the reason why they're not remastering something like Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind is because it would require work. All right, and Bethesda doesn't do work. Bethesda either buys a company that makes decent games and they slap their name on it and an uninformed console gamer thinks Bethesda makes great shit. Bethesda made Doom. Bethesda did a really good job on Doom. Shut up, child. It's a fucking id software game, you fuck nut. Read the box. God damn. Bethesda and Wolfenstein. Like, someone take her and throw her out a window, please. Point being, Bethesda isn't into working. You know, even look at this. Look at the creation engine. It's the same engine for over 10 years. It's going to be in the new Fallout 76, and I'd put money on it's going to be in Elder Scrolls 6, and it's going to be on Starfield, whatever the fuck the game's called. You can put money on it, it'll be the creation engine slightly tweaked to like, look less like shit. I mean, for God's sakes, Fallout 4, I know I'm back there again, but when you saw the character models, did you see their feet? Their feet were blocky. I thought I was playing Tomb Raider from PlayStation 1 when my character took off his pants to I was like, what's wrong with my feet? I don't have toes. These are triangles. What is this, Todd Howard? And then he pops out of the shadows like, it just works, wink. And someone else goes, Todd is a god. So point being, there will be no more win remastered because Bethesda would actually have to put some effort into that. No, stop being, stop being a consumer expecting the company to give a shit about you. Todd Howard was also equally dismissive of the possibility of Fallout 1 Remastered, asserting that once more fans could already play the game in its intended state if they had a PC, and that he felt that's how it should be played. Once again, that would take effort. And on top of that, if they remade Fallout 1, or Morrowind for that matter, and they stuck to the game in the sense of like dialogue choices, etc. Like, for God's sakes, Fallout 1, they'd lose their minds. Because the, come on, dude. For those who don't know about Fallout 1, I'm fucking pontificating here. For those who don't know about Fallout 1, your character mattered. All right, so if you thought you were going to just skimp out on your intelligence, like most people do in Fallout games, it doesn't matter in Fallout 4. It doesn't matter. You won't pass some, like, little conversations every now and then. Your character's still fine. But in Fallout 1, if you skimped on your intelligence for strength, you were literally the Hulk. You know, me no like rats. <laughs> you talk like you had downs. They're not gonna do that now. They'd probably get in trouble. And on top of that, people sit there and go, wow, the Fallout 1 remastered's way better than Fallout 4. What is this? And once again, Bethesda be under scrutiny. On top of that, Bethesda didn't make Fallout 1. Here we go again with another company that made a game with love and some creativity rather than shitting out something really quickly with a whole bunch of customization and good gunplay and the most laughable version of an RPG dialogue system I've ever seen. No, I'm not a Mass Effect fan, so eat me if that upset you. Well, this is a bummer for fans that wish to play the game but aren't willing to put up with the dated graphics and antiquated menu system. There are still plenty of options out there to enjoy more modern versions of older entries of the Elder Scrolls franchise. Yeah, basically, uh, here's, here's your only hope. Sky Oblivion, etc. All right, um, there's tons of Fallout mods in the works that people are doing. Thank God for them. If you really want a real Fallout and an RPG experience, hold your breath, ignore what the hell Bethesda is doing, and wait for modders to give you what you're looking for. Or play Wasteland. Wasteland 2 is awesome. And Wasteland 3 is coming out God knows when. I hope soon. I should Google that. I don't Google it because it's depressing. Sitting here like, oh, I hope Wasteland 3 is coming out soon. They put out a trailer a fucking billion years ago. How close are we now? Oh, we're no closer. Whoops. Actually, supposedly, Wasteland 3 will be on track for release in 2019, so I stand corrected. And according to PC Gamer, as of April 17th, 2018, supposedly Wasteland 3 would be completed within the next month. So that was months ago, theoretically. But we know how game development goes. They'll say something's coming and it don't come. Frankly, whatever. Here's hoping it comes out. That's all I can say. And on that note, I should be the hell out of here. You know the whole spiel. 
Rate, comment, subscribe, and share my shit. The more of you that do so, the bigger I get in the community. And Lord knows the community needs me. In this day and age of everyone being politically correct, for God's sakes, unless you're a woman, then you really don't have to be politically correct. And you can also sexually harass people. It's totally fine. But if you're a man, if you had a naughty tweet 10, 15 years ago, you know, you're in trouble, mister. Chooch, get down. What is with you and knives, dog? This isn't Dark Souls. Get out of here.